when we offer salah and before we enter the mosque, we Muslims, we remove our footwear. And this was the same commandment which was given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Musa alayhi salam, Moses peace be upon him, which is mentioned in the Holy Quran in Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse number 11 and 12. When he approached the fire, he heard a voice, O Moses, verily I am thy Lord. Put off thy shoes, for thou art in the sacred valley of Tuwa. This was the commandment given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Musa alayhi salam. A similar message is mentioned in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in the book of Exodus, chapter number three, verse number five. It says, he, Lord Almighty, says to Moses, draw not nigh hither, take off thy shoes from thy feet, for thou art on sacred ground. A similar message is repeated in the book of Acts, chapter number seven, verse number 33. The Lord tells to Moses, put off thy shoes from thy feet, for thou art on sacred ground. And we Muslims, we are even given the option to wear the shoes when we enter the mosque or when we offer salah by our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our beloved Prophet said, but when you wear the shoes, the soul should be clean. And it's mentioned in Abu Dawood, volume number one, in the book of Salah, Kitabu Salah, chapter number 240, hadith number 652, the Prophet said, be different than the Jews, for they always, during prayer, remove their shoes or sandals. It's also mentioned in Abu Dawood, volume number one, in the Kitab salah chapter number 240, hadith number 653, that Amr bin Shweb, on the authority of his father, said that his grandfather said, I saw the prophet pray both barefooted and with sandals. The reason we Muslims, we take off our shoes before we enter the mosque or for salah or clean the soles of our shoes is because we are hygienic people. We want to keep our place of worship clean.